right, so this one is tuned down a half step, just FYI. So we're just gonna start this one off with this full D chord. And then we're gonna move to this D at F sharp. Now, if you're not familiar with D at F sharp, it's just a D chord, and we're gonna take our first finger, lift it off that second fret of the G string, and replace it with our middle finger, and then put that first finger now on the second fret of the big E string, which is that F sharp note. So we've got D, D at F sharp, G, and then A. All right, we're gonna play that, and then you're just gonna hear some A chords played, and they're just gonna be played four times, and just let them ring out. play that two more times and then you're gonna hear this all right so that riff is just gonna be open A and D and you're kind of hammer on to that A chord and then hit A again and then open A and D back to A again So those are all the main parts for the song. Uh, just right before the guitar solo gets going, we're just gonna let those A's ring out. All right, so let's take a look at the guitar solo and how this one wraps up. So as we head into the guitar solo, we're just coming off that main riff. All right, then we're gonna play D, G, D at F sharp in this strumming pattern.
All right, then we're gonna move to F or to C and then F and then back to C again. Now that C may be played here and that F may be played here, kind of these power chords here, but I'm gonna play it here. But when we play the C, we're gonna strum back and forth on it and then our full F and then back to C. We're just gonna hit the F once and the C once. So something like this. And then G, C, G. And then back to the beginning. And now we're gonna play A, D, A. back into that main riff. So as we wind this one down, all the chords are gonna remain the same, except now the strumming patterns are gonna change as we head into the, to the end of this one. So about 30 seconds in or 35 seconds in or so, you're gonna to start to hear this. Right, so this is strumming a little bit more on the D, a little bit more on that D at F sharp, you know, twice on that G, um, you know, just down strokes. And then that riff here, we're just gonna be adding an A at the end. Now he doesn't, uh, that last A there, he doesn't play that all the time. You'll start to hear it, uh, you know, really there at the end. Then you're gonna hear this. You're gonna hear just some downstrokes on the on these chords, all downstrokes that follow Bond's lyric pattern. Right, and then that's how it wraps up. So. That last part there, you're gonna just add an upstroke on that uh, riff, so we're gonna go. Right, so that's it for this one. We'll see you next time.